everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new today is one of my favorite videos to make and it kicks off every season but I'm gonna tell you guys what I have on our Christmas bucket list but without further ado let's just jump right in so the first thing I love putting on our bucket list is going to a Christmas tree lighting and most um, smaller towns have this and bigger towns as well but I think it just kicks off the season it sets the tone and I love a Christmas tree just shining so bright in the main street of town and just being a part of it. Usually we have hot cocoa, they have Santa come and greet the kids. So, so much fun, but can't wait for to attend this year's Christmas tree lighting. Another thing that I love doing in smaller towns is attending a Christmas festival. So they have several around my area, but I love attending ours in our town and it's just so cute. Um, typically they have pictures with Santa, cookie decorating, some kind of art activity, but it's just a whole bunch of fun and a whole bunch of local vendors um, that you can support in your town. So loving a Christmas festival. The next one is checking out holiday books. This also sets the tone for the Christmas season. I will typically switch over our books um, after Thanksgiving to reflect all the Christmas cheer, some of our favorites. And I just love going to the library and picking out those special books to add to our collection. Another thing is baking a holiday treat. What is Christmas without baking a holiday treat? So either it be cookies, cupcakes, a special holiday cake, but I love doing this and it's just fun to do with your littles and to do as a family. The next one is um, go to see the Nutcracker and this is something we already have the tickets so we are going to be attending the Nutcracker this year and I am so excited. Um, this will be my daughter, she's six, her first ballet so it should be super exciting but go to see the Nutcracker, it's on our list. The next one is a Christmas movie night and this is making a simple Christmas charcuterie board, um, making some festive popcorn. My festive popcorn is typically popcorn and I'll put sprinkles or um, Christmas colored like M&Ms in it. We like a little bit of that sweet and salty, but um, can't wait to have a fun, family friendly movie night. That's Christmas theme, of course. And then the next one is see holiday lights and I love doing this. There's um, several, um, bigger venues around um, the Dallas, Texas area where you can go look at lights, but you can just go drive around your neighborhood or walk around your neighborhood or um, close neighborhoods and check out the lights. I love to make a little hot cocoa and it's just a whole vibe. Sometimes we do it in our holiday pajamas, ugly um, Christmas sweaters, whatever you want, but it's just a whole vibe and just really fun for the family. The next one is an event we're going to be attending, and it's called Zoo Lights. Um, it is at the Dallas, Texas, um, our um, zoo here, but um, they have like a nighttime scene at the zoo, and everything's lit up, and it's so pretty, and I'm just super excited and can't wait to attend. The next one is doing some sort of Christmas craft and my daughter loves art so we usually try to incorporate some sort of craft in each of the seasons. So I can't wait to do tons of Christmas and seasonal crafts. And then next one is make hot cocoa. This can correspond with going to look at Christmas lights um, but we love making a nice fresh cup of hot cocoa. So cozy, so inviting for this season. Um, next we have a Christmas, the capital, Christmas capital of Texas is in Grapevine. So I'm super excited to check that out this year. We didn't get to go last year, but I heard they have, it is decked out for Christmas. So I think it starts next week, um, the last week in November, but then they are decked out for a whole month all Christmas and they have like an ice skating ring in the middle of town that is also on our list to go ice skating we've gone every year for the past um, three years so love that super exciting but yes can't wait to go to Grapevine and check out our Texas Christmas capital um, 
And then the next one is to decorate seasonal cookies. This can go hand in hand with baking a treat, but we're actually going to be having a little get together with friends and their children with some of our wonderful families that we've met here in the Dallas, Texas area. And I'm so excited for one of the activities I'm going to do with the kiddos is they're going to decorate some sugar cookies all seasonally and all prepped out for Christmas. And then one of the last thing on our list, and we do this every year, is to make a gingerbread house. And it's just fun it's nostalgic and it just brings back all those warm and fuzzy christmas memories but that is it guys that is our christmas list um our christmas bucket list we usually put this i have an acrylic board that i put this on in our living room i mean our kitchen i will link that down below but uh, my daughter checks off each item as we uh, do it. Sometimes you don't get to everything because, the, you know, there's only so many weekends in the month and they're usually jam-packed, but we try to get to as much as we can. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, hopefully this gave you some ideas if you are putting together a little bucket list for your family. And then I want to say these bucket lists, you can do a whole bucket list that is completely like things that you do at home, not necessarily going out and spending money. Your bucket list can be as inexpensive or as expensive or somewhere in the middle that you wanna make it. But thank you guys again, and I will see you very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.